Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mike here, and today guys, I want to show you really easy how to get rid of the black screen of death. And you're probably saying, wait a second, you made a video about a year ago on this. Yes, I did. Uh, I made a video on the 3.1.2, I know, that's a long time ago. Today's version is 4.3.2. I made a video a long time ago on uh, how to get rid of the black screen of death if you were doing the 3.1.2 jailbreak and then you got the black screen of death. Uh, while trying to get it, at, like if you were running 3.1.3, .3, at the time that happened. But uh, many people are still making comments because they still think it's up to date, uh, saying, uh, this does not work, please help, end up. So after getting like 600 million comments on that, I figured I'd show uh, the easiest and the real way on how to get your iPod Touch at, or iPhone or iPad out of the black screen death. This works on every eye device, no matter which it is. Every eye device it works on. And that doesn't just have to be the black screen death. It could be if your iPod freezes, you're stuck somewhere, you did something you didn't want to, and maybe if you reset it you'll have luck. But uh yeah this could have uh multi this could fix many different things. So anyways it's really easy. All you gotta do is take both hands and put Thumb on the home button, and your top finger on the power button, and just holding them down. You'll see the slide to power. Don't even touch it, just keep holding it down. Wait a couple seconds. And once you see the Apple logo, you're done. By the way, you don't have to be connected. I forgot to tell you that. Now, this is not going to erase anything, I promise you. All this is, is resetting your iPod if it froze. That's why Apple put it here. Make sure you follow the steps completely right, because if you do like a home for 7 seconds, then the power or whatever, you can put it into DFU or restore mode, which obviously is easy to get out of, but if you don't know how to, you might not want to do it. But this will not erase anything for those of you who are really cautious about losing stuff on your iDevice, I promise. I'll prove it to you. I still have all my apps. I have all my settings saved. Hold on. I have all my music still. Alright. So it's not going to get rid of anything at all. So, whoa. <laughs> so you don't have to worry. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is probably going to be a video response to uh, that video. That turns out to be my most popular video on YouTube with a whopping 15,000 views. And I'm not that popular on YouTube yet, and that's a lot for me. So this will be a response to it for those of you who are still troubleshooting on fixing your iDevice. And again, this will work on any iPod Touch, any iPhone, and any iPad, I promise. Alright guys, remember to oops, remember to comment below, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and up here there's a subscribe button. I really hope this helped, it should have at least, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.